Are you sitting at that desk a little bit too long? Are you starting to look more like an 80-year-old instead of a 40-year-old? Stay tuned as I give you my top three tips for being able to look like you have found the fountain of youth. My name is Ada Wells. I'm a certified Pilates teacher, and I can't wait to share those with you. All right, so our society in the United States has, is terrible for our posture, right? We're sitting at desks. We're finding ourselves slumped forward, the head is forward. And really, you know, when, when I'm looking around, even looking at teenagers, teenagers are looking like they're, you know, middle-aged. So we need to start doing something about our posture early, okay? The sooner we do this, the better off we are. I'm gonna give you these three areas of your fountain of youth that you're gonna work on, okay? First one, which may not necessarily seem obvious, are your ankles. It's having ankle mobility. Now. Ankle mobility might sound like kind of a weird thing to have to kind of keep you feeling younger, but consider this. If you don't have good mobility in your ankles, what happens is that that will eventually have impact on your balance. It will also have an impact of how your knees and your hip are going to, your hips work um, in relation to any activities you do, such as walking, running, going up and down stairs. Okay, so we want to make sure we have really good mobility in the, in the ankles. The second part of your fountain of youth are your hips. So what I have found is that when people are really tight in their hips, which often occurs when you're sitting at a desk, your, your hips are basically in this flex position and you're there for 10 hours a day, those muscles become shortened and it becomes a lot more difficult to stretch them out. So when you're standing and they're shortened, everything is going to want to lean forward. So what we want to make sure is we have something called hip extension. It's that ability to bring that hip and extend it back um, in an open position as opposed to it being in a flex position, okay? The third piece of your fountain of youth, pretty obvious, but something that we need to work on is our thoracic um, extension. And the thoracic spine is the mid part of your back. That's the part that typically ends up kind of leaning forward. You see this as people get older, that, that mid back comes forward. And what happens when, that ha when, when you do that is that your neck then actually comes up into extension because you're just you're trying to see where you're going so you don't run into a wall, right? So what we want to be able to do is to create this extension in the spine so that your head can sit on top of the spine. Not only is your neck going to feel better, but you're going to be able to look better. It's a lot, in this position, your shoulders are in a much better position to be able to, um, to function so you don't have shoulder pain. And overall, you look taller, you look better. Okay, so once again, our three bits of fountain of youth are ankle mobility, hip extension, and thoracic spine extension. Stay tuned for future videos where I show you some specific exercises to work on those three areas. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to hear your comments on if you have any exercises that you've used to work on ankle mobility, hip extension, or thoracic extension. Put those in the comments at www.probalance.tv. I would love to hear them. And once again, stay tuned for more information and some future follow-up videos on this particular topic.